Paul Mitchell, how well are you looking after your clients? It doesn't matter whether we have internal or external clients, the heart of any great business, the heart of any great organisation is how well we nurture our clients. Here's a model that I first learned from a guy called Mike Bash, who was a Vice President of Customer Service from Federal Express. Very simple model, but very powerful. Basically, clients have needs. Yes, it's your job to fulfil those needs, but there's often a hierarchy of client needs that we just don't think about. So what I want to do is want to go over those needs and want to talk about the sort of reaction that you'll get for clients. At level one, there's a logical need, and the logical need is do what you say you're going to do. If you're going to deliver something, then you deliver it, fantastic. If you're going to actually put a, uh, 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 an idea to a client or solve a problem, fantastic. But the, but the reaction, the feeling is all I am with that is I'm satisfied. Satisfied. In other words, that's all you're doing for me. That's, that's what I expected you to do. And, and it's crazy that we have client satisfaction surveys. How weird is that? Like, I'm satisfied. No one's ever going to probably come back to you for more business just because they're satisfied. The real business comes when you start to think about that person as a person. What are their needs? Who are they? You start to think about them and the people you're dealing with as a, as, a, as a real human being with needs like yourself. So you might send them an article. You might think about a presentation that's coming up and help them with that. What are you doing for them as a person? When you do that, the person is not just satisfied, they're delighted. They're absolutely delighted. And so the reaction is delight or delighted. Uh, now, don't try to do that until you've done that. There's almost a hierarchy here. So are you satisfying your clients or you're really thinking about them as people, as human beings and delighting them? But there's another level. Sometimes people don't even know what they want. Clients don't know what they want until you give it to them. So the next level is um, giving people stuff that they just don't anticipate. In the next vlog, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. But when you give people they don't things they don't even anticipate, they're not just satisfied, they're not just delighted, they're amazed. You guys are amazing. Fancy doing that for me. So this is amazement. And I think at a minimum, what we need to be trying to do is not just satisfy our clients or delight them, but amaze them. And the final level is every client you meet, every customer you have, has a key frustration, something that gets them. In our training work, we find it's, there's no follow-up and uh, there's no real, um, I guess, consolidation of the material talk. So we bend over backwards to do follow-up and consolidation. So it really links back to the business. And if you do that, if you think about the client's key frustrations, if you ask them what they are, Here's what your service will be. Remarkable. In other words, like Seth Goblin says in Blue Cow, people will start talking about you. They'll make remarks about you. So you tell me, where are you now? Are you just satisfying people, doing client satisfaction surveys? Or are you thinking about how fantastic, what an honour, what a privilege it is to serve your customers? And you're delighted because you think about them as who they are and what you can do for them. You've got a genuine care and interest in them and their welfare. Or are you thinking even beyond that? Wow, what do they need that they don't even know they need? And are you amazing them? And more on that on our next B blog. And are you going even beyond that? asking them what their key frustrations are, settling them for them, and then they'll think that you're absolutely remarkable. So, are you satisfying your clients? Are you delighting them? Are you amazing them? Or are they talking about you more than any other service provider they've ever had? Because you are worth remarking on. You are remarkable. I'm Paul Mitchell. Be true to you.